So the reason why we collect ice cores is that they're a really fantastic archive of climate. So every year we get uh, snow that's falling and the, the snow collects a lot of um, aerosols and the con contents of the atmosphere. So we can look at, uh, for example, what temperature was like, how much dust and aerosols and impurities there were in the air. And we actually get a, a collection of the air itself. So air slowly gets trapped in the snow as, as little bubbles. And uh, in the, the system here, we can actually open up those bubbles and measure what the atmosphere was like in the past. We go to Greenland and we drill ice cores every summertime. So when it's warm and when it's light, so usually between April and August. And then once the ice is here in Copenhagen, then we can cut it up into different uh, sticks and subsections for different types of analysis. This is our working freezer, and this is where we prepare the ice samples. Uh, so we have a, a bandsaw here that we use for cutting up the samples into pieces, uh, nice and square, and we also have uh, some ceramic knives for uh, just doing the, the final cleaning on the, on the edges. Det vigtigste er, at vi får rene prøver. Og det er derfor, at man vil hellere skære en millimeter af, for det er oftest ikke mere end en millimeter. Og så, så, bliver det, så bliver det helt gode prøver. Det er svært at vurdere. Er det lige nu? Uh, when we're preparing the ice, the most important thing is to remember which way is up. <laughs> because the... <laughs> When you've cut the, once the ice has been drilled, then uh, you know once it's on the table, you don't know which way is up or down, and uh, and you always want climate to go in the same direction. So um, so that's why we put arrows on every single piece, so we always know which way is up, and we also put an arrow on the wall, so we know which way the pieces should go when they're on the table and in the room. So one of the analyses that we do here is this continuous flow analysis where we cut the, the ice into a long stick, a square, uh, and as you see in the freezer, then we can prepare the ice and, ha and put it into a frame, and then it can be melted here, continuously, section by section. Okay, so this is the, the melt head that we use to melt the ice cores. And you can see that it has uh, this trench around the outside and then a raised central section. And the idea of the, the melt head here is that we put the ice on, on the center and it sits over this little uh, dividing uh, uh, bridge. And this separates the, the outer section of the ice which is contaminated with the inner section, which is clean. Today we're looking at, uh, we're melting 25 meters of ice and we're looking at what uh, the, the climate was like 200 years ago. So the measurements we do here are basically uh, for two purposes. One is to understand how climate is changing by looking at individual components such as dust, sea salts, um, forest fires, soil activity and see how quickly these changes and how these changes happen over time. Uh, we also measure methane, which is an important greenhouse gas. And by uh, combining these measurements, we can um, look at how quickly climate has changed in the past, how climate was like in the ice age compared to now, and understand more generally what's happening with, uh, with the world nowadays.